you work sa call center to augment the income, tapos um, you're managing the, the business, mm-hmm. no? Tapos, paano pumasok naman si Maxi Mango? K- at kailan siya pumasok? Because we closed one of the branches of Swirls, we had an extra set of equipment. So what we did with that equipment was we started joining pop-ups and bazaars. Yung nasa loob ng mall that it runs from Thursday to Sunday. Ganun. Okay, or one, I see. Or, yeah, every, like, or yeah. every weekend lang. Uh-uh. So this is very much, uh, it was a very big help in regaining our financial footing. Especially mm-hmm. because we're from Davao. And in mm-hmm. 2017, this was the kasagsagan ng super uso ng mga bazaar in Davao. So there was this one bazaar called the Weekend Market, okay. which was a massive, talagang 80 food vendors, each with our own 10 by 10 square foot yeah. tent in the parking lot of SM for one weekend every month. Grabe. A lot of people, not just us, were really able to save up for capital because mm. of that bazaar. Galing, galing. If I may ask, how much is the rate for that bazaar? For that bazaar, um, I think about... Hello mga Lipreneurs! Welcome to another session of Lipreneur Insights. This is Jerry Hila, the founder of Lipreneur. And this is Lipreneur Insights, where we invite successful entrepreneurs to share their lessons about business. As I mentioned kanina, uh, probably nakikita nyo, pag pupunta kayo sa malls, yung mga pinaypilahan na mango ice cream, di ba? And we're very fortunate this afternoon because we will be able to, uh, our guest is the one who started, they were the one who started this Uh, mango ice cream na sobrang pinipilahan sa mga malls natin. So, please help me welcome uh, the president of Maxi Mango, Miss Miki Arceo Velasquez. Hi, Hi. Miki! Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting. Yes, bati ka muna sa ating mga uh, nanonood. Hello, good afternoon to everyone who is in the Philippines and Good morning or good night to people that might be abroad. <laughs> yes, si Dennis is also here. Yeah, and hi Dennis. Please say hi and where are you from? Sa ating chat box so for those who just came in. Yan, Miki, sobrang um, sikat ng Maxi Mango. And mamaya, I'm sure, ayun, ikwento mo kung paano siya nag-start. But before Maxi Mango, um, I heard na you were also an OFW. Yes. Um, my husband and I were OFWs based in London for ilang years. My husband was there for eight years. I was there for three years. Wow, grabe. Tapos anong ano mo? Anong work mo before uh, during that time? Anong line of work mo? We were both into sort of healthcare. Okay, healthcare. I see. Tapos so you were there. Uh, your husband eight years, ikaw three years, and then um, what happened? Paano paano kayo umuwi and What's the reason why umuwi kayo? We had a son kasi while we were in the UK. So it, things started to become very difficult because, mm-hmm. you know, as OFWs, I'm sure we'll be able to relate to yung bata, parang pinapasa-pasa lang namin. And yeah. hindi siya halos nakakalabas ng house. So in 2013, an opportunity presented itself in the form of my dad had a friend who had a business who wanted to start franchising in Mindanao. Okay. So I jumped on that opportunity and umuwi kami. Okay, okay. So, anong business yun? That business was called Swirls, Swirls. Ice Cream. Okay. So we've really been, kahit before Maxi Mango, pa soft serve talaga. Mm. The same machinery, the same concept ever since. Okay. So you, st- uh, you went home 2013. And then manage that business. Yung husband nyo ba, uh, umuwi rin? Yes. Umuwi ah, okay, so parehas kayo. Okay. And then, uh, what happened? So, uh, minanage nyo yung business since 2013. Tapos, uh, how did it go? We initially opened two branches for Swirls at the same time. Okay. After one year, uh, one of those branches had to close. Mm-hmm. And the one remaining branch... It wasn't doing very well. Mm-hmm. So, ang ginawa ko was, I took on employment at a call center in Convergis in Davao. I'm a mm-hmm. very I'm a very proud call center agent. <laughs> okay. Um so my salary sa call center would go towards the business in order mm-hmm. to keep it alive, mm-hmm. in order to help it 
um, you know, bridge the gap between yeah. Lugi and break even. Yeah. So yeah. because we managed to keep it alive, we were able to continue with business. Eventually, we joined pop ups, and eventually, Maximango was created. Wow! If I did not take on employment at the call center, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Ang galing ng mga lipinors, no? So, that business, as uh, well, was uh, not doing very well. Tapos, ang ginawa na ni Miki was uh, took on yung uh, call center work para ma-augment yung, yung, syempre, kailangan nila for their family. Why did you not close it? Kasi, for, for other people, di ba? Ay, dugi, sarana. So, during that time, and what was going through your mind na hindi ko muna sasara ito, magtatrabaho na lang muna ako? just to keep the business alive. This was this was the only thing left. Our capital that we saved from being OFWs went to the two branches. Mm -hmm. Two branches na naging one branch. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. we closed that one remaining branch, if we didn't do absolutely everything that we had to do to mm -hmm. keep it alive, mm -hmm. we would have gone back abroad. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to go back mm -hmm. abroad. Yeah, okay. I see. So, yeah, very you know, inspiring story yon na Hindi porket, di ba? Uh, may problema sa business, sasara na natin agad. Um, you work, work sa call center to augment the income, tapos um, you're, manage, you're continue, continuously um, managing the, the business. Mm -hmm. no? Tapos, paano pumasok naman si Maxi Mango? Ke, at kailan siya pumasok? Because we closed one of the branches of Swirls, we had an extra set of equipment. So what we did with that equipment was we started joining pop-ups and bazaars. Yung nasa loob ng mall that it runs from Thursday to Sunday. Ganun. Okay, or I one, see. Or, yeah, every, I, yeah. or every weekend lang. Ganun. Uh -oh. So this is very much, uh, it was a very big help in regaining our financial footing. Especially mm -hmm. because we're from Davao and in mm -hmm. 2017, this was the kasagsagan ng super uso ng mga bazaar in Davao. So there was this one bazaar called the Weekend Market, okay. which was a massive, talagang 80 food vendors, each with our own 10 by 10 square foot yeah. tent in the parking lot of SM for one weekend every month. Grabe. A lot of people, not just us, were really able to save up for capital because mm. of that bazaar. Galing, galing. If I may ask, how much is the rate for that bazaar? For that bazaar, um, I think about 4,000 per weekend. Per weekend. So four days. Yun yung four days or just two days? Two days. Yeah. Two days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, you started that in December 2017 na? Ito mm -hmm. na ba yun? December 2017 was sort of the end already. Ah, this This, this okay. weekend market ran from March until December. Ah, okay. And why mango? Mm -hmm. ba? Why mango? Kasi, yun, you were the first one who introduced this kind of uh, soft serve ice cream. Yes. Caps lock, first one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag first one, Maxi Mango. Yon. So, bakit mango? So, I think the first thing was that uh, Swirls had mango as part of their menu. But it was a very big menu with, I think, over 50 things to choose from. Okay. So, napapansin namin, people weren't choosing the mango because it was getting drowned out yes. by yes. things that on the surface looked more attractive like blueberry, like chocolate, yes. ganun. So, my, what my husband and I decided to do was to feature mango more because mm -hmm. siya yung, it was the easiest, it was the easiest to source out. Easier to find than blueberry, easier to find than kiwi or imported yeah. chocolate or yeah. things like that. Yeah. And also, um, alam mo yung ano, like when you eat out a lot, you're mm -hmm. always going to crave lutong bahay, parang mm -hmm. ganon. Yes. So, mango float is the dessert equivalent of going home. Mm -hmm. It's a Filipino staple. Okay, yes. And sarap ng mango natin. Yes. <laughs> Oi, si Miss Joyce. Hi, Miss Joyce. Hi, Sir Jelly and oh Nikki. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're Hi, so Mom proud Joyce. of you. Hi, Miss Joyce. I'm glad you're watching. So, um, underscore ko lang yung sinabi ni, ano, ni Miki. So, um, sa Swirls, there were around 50 uh, variants, yeah. di ba? And nadadrown yung mango. So, ito yung example ng focus 
diba? when when you when you want to uh, focus on just one product and highlight that product in their case yun yung mango sobrang sumikat okay kasi kaya uh, careful tayo mga lipinors when we offer so many things kasi uh, there's this study diba na pag yes. sobrang daming choices nalilito na yung customer exactly. and of course yung inventory natin doon etc ang hirap i-manage ng sobrang daming product mm-hmm. So, in their case, yun, isang product lang, isang flavor na yun naging hero product nila. And yun, sobrang lumaki. Yeah. And so, that was December 2017, yung sabi mong end. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was in Davao. Yes. Kailan kayo pumunta dito sa Manila? Um, we flew to Manila in July 2018. 2018. So, barely a year. Barely a year. Ah, um, 10 months. Seven months in Davao, mm. you know, bazaring and joining pop-ups peacefully. And then mm-hmm. July, biglang, boom, first copycat is in the picture. And not in Davao, kundi in Manila. In Manila. So we flew here right away okay. because we didn't want it na lumabas na kami yung um, copycat. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how did it feel na you're there in Davao, very successful? Mm-hmm. Tapos suddenly, bang, nalaman nyo na merong copycat na dito sa Manila. That was very disheartening for us actually. Um, you know, putting aside yung ginaya ang concept mo, but mostly because we're, we were provincianos. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. ang gumaya sa amin was a Manilenio. Mm-hmm. We have nowhere, we had nowhere to live here. We have no, we had no connections here. Mm-hmm. Um, for us, it was so easy for them because kami mm-hmm. ang yeah. na namin lahat yeah. bazaar organizers. Yeah. We didn't know anyone yeah. in Manila, but they did. Mm-hmm. They had mm-hmm. places to live here. They didn't have to worry about things mm-hmm. like rent. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. knew where to get all the supplies. Kami wala. Mm-hmm. When we mm-hmm. came here, naka Airbnb kami for I think two or three months. Mm-hmm. Grabe. Okay. <laughs> Galing. So, um, so when you came here, um, ang, ang, ang objective na really was to open branches. Dito. Yes. Tapos, not 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 agad. We wanted to make pakilala first. Okay. In, okay. Introduction. Yeah. So, was you joined bazaars here or opened a ano na, a permanent store? We joined a lot of bazaars here. From July to September, we joined bazaars in all different malls. Every week we made sure ibang mall. It okay. was our way of yeah. para letting letting the leasing know yes. para hi I exist. Yes. Pansin yes. niyo ako. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then I would assume the. Ano tawag mo siya? Uh, leasing work. offers yes. team. Yes. <laughs> Plan work. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So kailan yung first branch nyo? And um, saan? Dito sa Manila? In Manila, our first branch opened September 18, 2018 in Mall mm. of Asia. Wow. So, and then how did it go? It went very well actually. We already we were so proud na our first Manila branch. Yes. I mean, it's already a big achievement eh, for yes, somebody from the true. province to be able to open a permanent branch in Manila. Mm-mm. But for someone from the province to open a branch in Manila in Moa pa yes. is yes. you know, we we my husband and I are really hoping that we made the Moa was proud of us. Yes. Grabbing achievement yan, di ba? Uh, coming from Davao to going here in Manila in uh, very, very successful, siyempre. Yan, sobrang laking achievement. And then, um, so you introduced around September 2018 na yon. Mm. And then, um, after that, you opened multiple branches na, and I would assume uh, franchise uh, inquiries also yes. yeah, um, poured in. Mm. Okay. Right now, you have 43 branches? 43. 43. Tapos, um, here in Manila, ilan bang branches mo dito sa Manila? Oh my gosh, kung Manila lang, maybe uh, a little less than 30. Okay. Or okay. maybe a li- less than 25. Kasi okay. marami din Mindanao eh. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, um, so very successful. And uh, what can you attribute to, to the success of Maxi Mango? Definitely the perseverance of, you know, from me and my husband. We always stick together. We're both, his word for it is, we're both competitive. But actually, our translation is, nag-aaway kami every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because, because we're husband and wife slash business partners. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the perseverance. Sometimes, ano din eh, blessing like me and my wife. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also 
course, business partner. So, okay then, okay then, because uh, you know now we have the same objective, yes. diba? For our family, ganon. So, walang conflict in terms of objectives or goal namin. So, and when, ayan, you, when you argue, um, you know, when you argue, when you compete with one another, Ang lumalabas kasi sa aming dalawa is because we fight or because mm-hmm. we compete. <laughs> ang the compromise that comes out of it is always the best solution. Yeah. So he didn't get yeah. his way, I didn't yes. get mine. We meet in the middle and yes. that's always the best. Yes, yeah. Um uh, combining the the suggestions, diba? Yeah. Um when did you get ano? Uh, I saw that you have Catherine yes. Bernardo as your ano, as your brand ambassador. Oh. So uh, recent lang ba yun? Very recent. I think she signed on with us uh, February or March. Okay. Ano yung, um, I'm sure very, very fulfilling yun, di ba? Yes, uh, to have a brand ambassador mm-hmm. such as, syempre, uh, very, ano, si Katrin. Mm-hmm. That's something we never imagined we would mm-hmm. ever be able to achieve. Mm-hmm. So, sobrang nakaka-happy. Okay. Tapos, um, you mentioned na, di ba, maraming, may copycat na nauna uh, na nag-i-introduce dito sa Manila. And now, I think marami na rin mga brands that are uh, selling the same concept, yes. into the same concept. Now, how are you, kumbaga, differentiating the from from those copycats? Um, Maxi Mango is one of those, you know, Maxi Mango or any soft-serve concept actually, is a concept na pag tinignan mo siya on the surface, it mm-hmm. looks very easy to create. People think it's easy because they think, I buy an ice cream yeah. machine and yun na yun. Uh-oh. But what a lot of people don't realize when they delve into it is that not all ice cream machines are the same. Not all pre-mixes for soft serve are the same. For Maxi Mango, we use the top-of-the-line ice cream machine. Nothing compares to it. I mean, it's a tailor machine mm-hmm. and... You know, it speaks for itself because McDonald's, Jollibee, Dairy Queen uses the same machine. So, it's not just about, I mean, there are other concepts that use Taylor also. Mm-hmm. They think that just because they have the same machine as me, it's yun na yun. Yeah. But you need to know how to work your machine because there are certain adjustments that you can make on the inside that makes the viscosity, mm-hmm. the overrun, the air content yeah. customized to you also. Dami <laughs> pala Okay. And putting that aside, there's the premix also, which also it takes a lot of time to develop a customized premix na approved sa yo mm-hmm. or lalo na for a premix na bumabagay for the toppings or for the flavors that you're going to use. In our case, for a mango, which mm-hmm. is already very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that was quite difficult. Okay, okay, and um. So the, your mangoes are all coming from Davao? All from Davao. Wow. They so, arrive to us green. We keep it in our warehouse uh, until it ripens and it gets delivered to our franchises. Wow, okay. Galing. Um, si Sir Boots is watching. Sabi niya, great Mickey. Hi, Sir Boots. Hi, Sir Boots from the <laughs> States. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looking forward to see you again, Sir Boots. I think uh, training on uh, how to franchise your business this yes. uh, June 27, 28. Si Asela has a question. Sabi niya, um, ayan, yun na pala yung tanong ni Asela, uh, how to distinguish your product from from the other brand. So, you mentioned na in terms of quality, di ba? Machine that you use, premix, ibang-iba talaga si Maxi Mango. I think the most, the pinak advantage that we have is that we know what we're doing because we yeah. know how our machine functions. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's easy lang kasi to employ a technician eh, mm-hmm. or a third party yeah. company that knows how the machine functions. Pero kahit kami mag-asawa, Uh-oh. we can take that machine apart and put it back together ourselves, yeah. which yeah. we have done before mm-hmm. because you need to be ready for that in case it breaks down and ikaw yeah. lang ang hakakaya to fix it. Yeah. So machine aside, our premix is customized and exclusive just for us. Mm-hmm. And putting that aside also, the mango is from Davao, which specifically for us, we've studied also. You need to have a certain bricks level to maintain para sakto yung sweetness mm-hmm. ng mango. Not too sweet, not sour din. Yeah. It needs to be planted in the farm for a certain number of days before mm-hmm. it's harvested. Otherwise, even if it turns yellow, it's sour. Grabbing detail here. <laughs> you know, when you, ano, um, in any business, I guess, kasi um, looking looking from the outside, maraming mga businesses na, kala mo, andalik lang gawin. Yes. 
di ba? Tapos when you go into it, uh, ginagawa mo na may kita mo. Ang dami pa ng detalye nitong, nitong business na to. And I guess yun, yun din for, for Maxi Mango. Um, plus, I guess yung, yung brand nyo is, uh, yun, with Catherine, uh, I'm sure na yun, that's a big differentiating factor. Yeah. So, uh, si Mario then has a question, how did you grow your social media presence now before Catherine Bernardo signing? And how did social media affect your sales? Yeah, very good question. Salamat, Mario, for asking that. Social media was a very, very big help. Um, before, when we were still doing pop-ups in Davao, so this was before July, before we came to Manila, we only had 9,000 likes on Facebook. But when we came to Manila, we were averaging 3,000 likes per week until today, we have 113,000, I think. Damn. Pero before Catherine came into the picture, we already had, I think, about 80 or 90,000. Okay. So, when we came to Manila, word of mouth helped very much mm -mm. with us sort of making pakilala. Mm -mm. Not just to the leasing managers, like yeah. I said, but to everybody in Luzon. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So what was it a uh, deliberate ano uh, what campaigns were you doing sa social media um, that triggered those ano those numbers Social media was quite difficult here in Manila because mm -hmm. you know in Davao I know all the bloggers mm -hmm. here wala akong kilala mm -hmm. not even one mm -hmm. so I posted my own post by myself mm -hmm. on on let's eat pare mm -hmm. yun lang yun lang yung alam ko na page eh. yeah. and then the rest we relied on word of mouth. Okay. So, actually, when we arrived here to Manila, my husband and I weren't even sure if we would work or not, mm -mm. because your choices here, the choices that you have, are very vast compared mm -mm. to Davao. We don't even have um, Dairy Queen in Davao. Mm -mm. We don't have Yao Yao in Davao. Mm -mm. You have Baskin and Robbins. We don't have all of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So. Konti lang yung mapapilian, mm -hmm. pero dito, mm -hmm. ang choices niyo sobrang dami. Mm -hmm. So luckily, it worked naman. And people kept sharing and kept sharing and kept sharing. Um, so ang nangyayari, when we jumped to a different bazaar next week, inabangan na. Inaabangan na. Wow. Grabe. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you Mario for asking that question. Because um, in a span of parang less than a year, di ba? You've grown from from a very few stores to ngayon, 43. 43. How did you cope with that? Kasi gra massive yung anong yun, yung expansion na yun. Ano yung mga kumbaga, challenges when you were growing the business from, from a few stores to 43 stores? I think the biggest challenge was finding people who were on the same level as my husband and I when it comes to thinking and trusting them to help us with our business because we were very hesitant at the beginning to delegate because we were you know we very much believed that if you want something done right you have to do it yourself mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we couldn't do it all ourselves yeah yeah Hindi kaya. Kahit yes. pilitin pa. yeah Kahit tanggalin pa natin si sleep mm -hmm. forever yeah <laughs> Hindi yeah. kaya. so we eventually started with one staff, naging two. Ngayon, I think our office staff pa lang, service crew side, our office staff, there are about 15 or 17, mm -hmm. I think, of them. Mm -hmm. So, those people definitely helped us. We have such a good team now. Mm -hmm. They're very focused, they're very passionate, they love their work. And they get along with each other. Hindi yeah. sila nag internally. Thank goodness. <laughs> Less office politics. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I, is your head office based in Davao ba? We or have an meron office. Na kayo dito? In, we have in both areas. Mm. Kaya we're strong in, Vis in Luzon and we're strong in Mindanao. In Visayas, uh, question mark. Hindi pa. Okay. <laughs> Hindi pa. We do have branches there, but we don't have a company office kasi there. Okay, okay. Tapos in terms of... Um, commissary, supply, etc. Ano yung mga nagdaging challenge uh, growing the, the business? Kasi sobrang dami na, ng, dami na kayong branches. Our permanent branches started kasi September 2018. So this mm -hmm. was the per months already. Mm -hmm. Eventually, as we approach November, you know, people will always ask, hindi ba kayo naubos na ng manga? Yeah. And the answer is always no. I've never had encountered a problem na naubos kami ng manga. But December, November last year, naubos kami ng Graham Crackers. Mm. We couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> so maraming gumagawa ng death cake. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, kasi Burr Months, apparently, huli na namin na catch ang balita na when it's the Burr Months, the groceries will hoard the Graham crackers. Uh, so we couldn't okay. find any for ourselves. Okay, okay, okay. Luckily, we managed to catch the attention already of Mon Denisian by then. Mm-hmm. So they were able to give us attention. Okay, okay. That's great. Okay. So, yan, yeah, um, learnings from growing the business kasi... Uh, very challenging talaga, di ba? From a few stores to now 43 stores. So, ang sinabi ni Miki, uh, in terms of the mindset, important kasi delegation, yes. you need to overcome that. Uh, kasi you need staffs, you need people to help you grow the business. And in terms of supplies, so good thing wala masyadong problema sa supply. Yeah. Um, yan, yun yung mga part ng pains when it comes to growing the business. Okay, um, si Matthew... Yan, Lodi daw. Matthew Bentanganan. <laughs> Salamat, Matthew. Oy, si Migs is here. Yon. Salamat, Migs. Um, sabi ni Migs, Hi, Miss Miki. May I ask what's the advantage and unique? Uh, yan, what's, what's unique about your brand compared to similar manga-related brands? Yan, thanks, Migs, for asking. Uh, you mentioned kanina, no? In terms yeah. of the quality. Yeah. The okay. machine, the ice cream, and the source of the mango are what mm-hmm. makes us unique. But besides that, a different sort of, you know, it's an advantage also mm-hmm. to be the first to introduce it in the market. Yeah. Because you have that brand love, you have the loyalty yeah. from the customers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thanks, Mix, for asking. Kanina, when you were starting out, about introducing the Maxi Mango brand, Ano naman yung mga challenges no? Um, though yun, be- very ano tawag mo diyan, lucky no na, na nakilala agad siya. Ano yung mga initial challenges niyo back then? Um for us, you know, when we first started Maxi Mango, even when we first arrived to Manila, we were very limited in terms of capital. Mm. So we were saving on everything you know, on yeah. we were cutting corners wherever we could without compromising quality. So, you know, one of the corners that we cut was graphic design. And yeah. You know, now we have our graphic designer who is amazing. Shout out Kai Ryan. <laughs> Hi. Pero <laughs> that eh, ako yung gumagawa ng, you know, ng design through <laughs> through apps lang on my cell phone. The logo, I was the one who made that. Um, so, besides that, um, yung nagtatrabaho talaga in the stall, service crew, was mm-hmm. either me or my husband or the mm-hmm. both of us. Yeah, ganun talaga. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you're starting out, syempre, nagtitipid, so tayo-tayo muna. Was there a time na, ano, um, you encountered a, kumbaga, what you call this, siguro complain ng customers. And, syempre, in terms of social media, kasi nasabi mo kanina, it helped you a lot. Um, which is very good. Meron din bang time na, alam mo yun, may mga, anong term natin dyan? May mga hindi magandang post about Maxi Mango. Always. Always. You can't naman please everybody eh. Pero, you know, it was painful for us in, at the start to see negative comments about us. But we eventually realized that you really can't please everybody. So, that's just something that we have to live mm. with. You can't create. There's no. There's no one product in the world that everybody yeah. likes. Yeah. yeah. So That's true. you know, there are, there are people that exist you know, that don't like McDonald's. Eh? So mm. I can't. If McDonald's can't please everyone, then I can't mm-hmm. please everyone also. Yeah. yeah. That's a very nice, ano, uh, mindset. Diba? Rather than stress yourself. Mm. <laughs> na, for, for, na every, mga ganon. Oh, for every one negative comment that comes in. We get a lot of other positive comments, mm. and we're very appreciative to the people that really make the effort to message us on Facebook mm. and say thank you, say how happy they are, or kahit nagsasend sila ng pictures. That mm. very much is nakakataba ng puso. It makes our day. Yes. Um, si John sabi niya, John Francisco, where did your first store open and how much daw yung capital nyo? Pag start ng first store. Yun. So thank you, Jan, for asking. For those who have questions, yun, feel free na magtanong lang. So, k- k- saan nga yung first store nyo? And how much the capital? Very, very first store ever was in the Mall of Tagum. That is one hour away from Davao. 
And then a week later, our main Davao store opened. And in that same month, MOA opened here in Luzon. Yeah. As for Capital, it's sort of hard to answer. We do a turnkey package for our franchisees. Mm -hmm. So everything is included. Talagang really, really everything. And it's very much dictated by how far you are from either one of our commissaries. Because the farther you are, the more stock I need to include. Yeah. Yeah. So, message me and tell me saan, <laughs> John. <laughs> Yon. Um, when, si, si, uh, when you were starting out in terms of the, the, ano yan, the in terms of the capital din na kailangan yung iput in, was, was it uh, a lot of money to put up maximum loan? Um, in, in in your case, when you were starting out, we, it's always scary to invest. Yes, it was a lot of money, mm -hmm. and that money didn't come to us easily. We mm -hmm. we saved it very slowly through the bazaars in Davao, from Surel Spot to Maximango. That was all our savings. When we came here to Manila, my husband and I were at the point where we did have capital to invest, mm -hmm. but we wouldn't have been able to recover if we fell. Mm -hmm. So we had to be very careful with everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si Kemp pala may tanong, um, sabi niya, Miss Miki, how did you choose the right partners for franchising your Maximango? And how do you manage them? Yeah, and thank you, uh, Kemp, for asking that. You know, I actually have other, you know, I've made friends who are also into franchising. And when we message each other sometimes, he tells me about his franchisees na super, uh, you know, pasaway. I don't know if that's a Tagalog word. I don't know if it's yeah, Tagalog or Tagalog, Visayan, pasaway. Yeah. But I'm very lucky to have very good franchisees. So I do have a few franchisees, I think um, four, mm -hmm. who trusted us back when we were at the point where we had zero branches, pa, mm -hmm. puro pop-ups, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they trusted us to franchise Maximago. Mm -hmm. And right now, those franchisees have multiple branches with us. And they're very good talaga. Mm -hmm. They're very... It, it's not just about money for them. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have... They love their brand also. Mm -hmm. They take care of their brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Galing nun. Kasi uh, your franchisees are your partners, di ba? Yes, in growing are. the business. And... Very important na okay yung partnership na yun yes. kasi otherwise eh, additional na kailangan mong ayusin. So, um, in, in your case, uh, you're very lucky na ano, yun nga, uh, maraming kang, yung mga franchises mo are, are yun, very nice. Uh, so, you have this, itong portion ng Manila, mo, um, you have mostly ba, how, how many, um, company branches do you have now? I have seven company branches spread out Luzon and Mindanao. Okay, so more on um, marami nang ano, multiple yun sinabi mo nga, ano, multiple branches for the franchisee. Mm -hmm. And that speaks uh, anong tawag mo dyan? That speaks, speaks a lot of how happy they are. Yes. Diba? Otherwise, um, hindi sila mag-expand. Mm -hmm. mag Magkukuha ng additional franchise. So yun, um, Thank you, Kim, for asking that question. Now, um, ano yung mga plans mo for Maximango, given the huge opportunity, um, that that uh, huge market that there is? Uh, sabi mo, marami ng mga copycats, pero you're still growing, you have you're, you have very strong sales. Anong, anong plans mo, three to five years for, for Maximango? We're quite confident with the future of Maximango because what you know one of the advantages that my husband and I have is our ability to innovate and be creative we came up with the Maximango flavors on our own yeah and they were copied but when we came up with new flavors which mm -hmm. was our newest addition to our mm -hmm. menu which we have ngayon the queso and the ube those were copied na naman so we have more additions to our menu na hindi pa lumalabas and now, we know it's an advantage to us because wala nun yung other concepts eh. That means they're not trying to come up with their own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we release products two at a time. Ube and Kesu was released a few months ago. We're going to release two new products, I think, at the end of this week or next week. And then in a few months, there's two more na naman. Okay, I see. Um, it's very nice, no? Because as, as, as entrepreneurs, minsan yung isip natin, di ba, malikot and... 
Ayan, uh, since we own the brand, we're very passionate about it. Ang dali na isipan kung ano yung pwedeng innovation versus just copying from someone else. Yes. Na, ayun, uh, you're, you're just, you're always maybe five or ten steps behind. Mm-hmm. Diba? The, the innov- from, uh, steps behind from the one who really started it all. So, um, yung, you, has, you now have ube and ano yung cheese. cheese. Okay. How is it doing? Very good, especially the cheese. Because when we had the shoot of Catherine, Mm-mm. she's so she's so game and so friendly. Mm-hmm. We put all our ice creams in front of her. She had, I think, seven cups in front of her, and she really ate all of them. Di niya inubos pero sumubo siya multiple times from all of them. She chose her favorite, and cheese was her favorite. Kaya ang lakas ng cheese, right? Kaling. <laughs> Yan. Ah, si Rona is also here sa kasi Presi. Hi, Presi from Germany. Yon, please say hi. And for those who just came in, please say hi. And where are you from sa ating chat box? And if you have questions, feel free na magtanong so that uh, Miki can answer them. We still have a few more minutes, okay? Um, are, are you, ano, are you afraid na, or sa akin pa sa isip mo na <clears throat> maybe this is just, uh, ano tawag doon? Parang craze, a fad. Yeah, I, I na, that, uh, na hindi siya long-term business. No, we're quite, con- we're very confident with Maxi Mango because like I said earlier, it's a Filipino staple in dessert. It's not something na sobrang kakaiba. Yung tipong titikman mo lang once, that's okay na. Mm-hmm. Ma- mango float is a childhood dessert that mm-hmm. people will always come back to. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. That's great. Um, si Jester is asking, do, do you still go to bazaars now? Or more on, ano na siya? More on, what you call that, your permanent stores? We actually do still do bazaars. Um, my husband and I, you know, back to the franchises, mm-hmm. we're very open and lax with our franchises. We give them a lot of leeway. So one of the, th- one of the things that we allow them to do is that if you are in a big mall, for example, Eastwood, our Eastwood yeah. franchisee did this kasi recently, yeah. kaya ginawa ko siyang example. If you're, if you're my Eastwood franchisee, then that entire Eastwood, sa'yo yan. Mm. If there is a bazaar in the, in the other side of the mall, you're free to join that. And I'm not going to charge you for that, providing that you have an extra set of equipment. If you don't, you can borrow an extra set of equipment from our warehouse. Mm. So, at one point, she had her permanent branch and she had a satellite bazaar every weekend. For I think she did this for the entire month of May. Mm-hmm. That's allowed. Mm-hmm. So, I, I know, all my franchises are aware of this. Mm-hmm. And they're free to join bazaars. For us, kasi, we don't want to be the kind of brand na every kanto meron. Mm-hmm. Mushrooming was never our goal with Maxi Mango. Mm-hmm. So, for us, this 43 branches, even if it sounds konte lang, that's already acceptable to us. Mm-hmm. So our franchises are happy because they don't have very much competition and they feel safe mm-hmm. because you know there are big malls like SM Dasma is very big, SM South Mall is a very big mall and they yeah. know na hindi yeah. ako tatayo ng other yeah. Maxi Mango dyan, na hindi sa kanila. Yeah. We don't want franchises to compete with one yeah. another. Yeah. Or even close by lang, like Market Market. We have a franchisee there but we did not accept for yung mall na katabi lang ni Market Market because they're too close in proximity. Mm, okay. That's very nice, no? Kasi, yun nga, um, you're, you're really after the the welfare of the franchises. Kasi for some, um, if they just look at the numbers, di ba, number of branches, ang oh, dali, para, oh, sige, uh, lagay lang ng lagay. Happy franchisee, peaceful life. Yes. <laughs> Parang happy wife, yes. happy life. Happy <laughs> nagsabi yun sa akin. <laughs> So yeah, so okay yon. Um, yung mga you, you mentioned, de ba, na you, you still want to expand. Yung may goal ba si Maxi Mango na na number of branches na pina target nyo in a span of several years? No, we just we just work on it as we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, ang target namin is to be spread out enough in the Philippines mm-hmm. that everybody has access to a Maxi Mango branch. Mm-hmm. Pero we're really not aiming to mushroom. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, that's great. Mm-hmm. Um, si G is asking kung may royalty fee daw for the for the franchise. Maybe you can talk about ano, you can talk about the franchise. Ano ba inclusion sa franchise? Tapos um, yun, tanong ni G is kung kung meron daw royalty fee. 
Paano nag-work yun, etc. Our franchise, our turnkey franchise includes everything. So when I say everything, that's the kiosk, the ice cream machine, the blender, uniforms, and even down to things that aren't really you know, prerequisite in franchise. Like we include our POS machine, it's called Utak POS, yung tablet. Mm-hmm. We include a CCTV system, a numbering system, mm-hmm. everything that you wow. initial stock. So franchise he just shows up on opening day yun yun. In terms of royalty fee, we do have royalty fee, but we adjust it for a happy franchise. Yes. <laughs> so it's much lower for our franchisees that are in percentage based malls as opposed to franchisees in fixed rate malls. Mm, okay, the royalty fee. Yes. Ah, okay, so may ganong adjustments. Okay. Nice. First time I've heard about it. Mm. Na may may ganyang certain adjustments. Mm. Si um, Armel din, sinasabi niya, Hi, hello Armel from Dubai. Interested, uh, can you give me your uh, contact details now? Sure, you can you can message me on Facebook. I check my message requests every day. Yeah, because we'll post din siguro the, ano, we'll post the page of Maxi Mango para yun, you can message uh, si Miki there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so in terms of the in terms of the um, anywhere in the Philippines, you're open for for franchise. So, wala walang limitation muna. Okay, okay, that's good. Actually, I mean, you know, um, mas malakas pa kami sa province kasi sa Central and CR. Mm. So we're very open to that. I mean, when we opened in Zamboanga, the the reception was wild. Mm. So ngayon we're going to open in Cotabato, I think, next week. Okay, yeah. and you mentioned before na the longest time na nag nag line up yung isang tao was four and a half hours yes but that wasn't normal that that was something happened kasi this this you know we get a lot of negativity from the waiting and yeah. I, I am really sorry genuinely sorry to anybody that has ever had to wait that very long Mm-mm. for a maximango before but the 4.5 hours that happened in Trinoma back when we were bazaaring mm. back last year pa Mm-mm. um our line was split in half by the security guards so because it was split in half parang dalawang line ang yeah. it looked shorter because it looked shorter people kept piling on uh-huh. behind it uh-huh. and our serving time was doubled mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that's what happened okay pero grabe no they they were willing to wait for that long yes and just it was very nakakatuwa mm. so thank you for deeming our product worthy of waiting for mm. pero kami din we were very hiya that mm. people had to wait hours for mm. this mm. ngayon ba how, how do you deal with uh yung mga waiting time mm. kasi uh, you mentioned isa yun sa mga concerns mm. especially yan marami bumibili mm. we have the utak pos okay um that gives us an order number uh, so everybody okay. has their own number and then we have the numbering system that will announce the number ah okay ang galing <laughs> are, are you also available sorry are you also available in grab or ano, grab food not currently yet, not yet it's not going yet. to it, re, it will really melt kasi. Ah, and the quality okay. is different the taste is different if it's frozen and if it's melted mas matapang siya kasi melted so we don't want to offset um customers but when we release more drinks, which we mm-hmm. will, the mm-hmm. two additional menu items that we're going to release next week are drinks. Mm-hmm. So we're planning to do drinks for Grab or Food Panda. Okay. Um, I asked because uh, I, I've tried Grab Food maybe a few weeks ago and so I it's very convenient. Mm-hmm. Nito. So I think many, many people, I see yung mga milk teas ngayon, oh. di ba, sobrang sikat. Uh, may kita mo yung naka-line up mga Grab drivers. So sabi ko, I think booming yung industry ng delivery, oh. food delivery. Uh, tanong ni Jester about recipe. Uh, mm-hmm. Since isa sa, di ba, very important is to, is to, is that recipe. So is that controlled by the, you mentioned about the pre-mix. Uh, pero in terms of um, protecting the, di ko sure ano ba ingredients or recipe. How are you ano? How are you doing it? Para siyempre ma ma protect yung yung trade secrets na. When we started Maxi, guys, I really like that question. When we started Maxi Mango, my husband and I created the recipe on our own. That's our own timpla. Mm-hmm. Eventually, when it came to sobrang grabe na ng volume, hindi na namin kinaya. Yeah. 
you have to outsource it now. You have to have a company name. Yeah. It. But in order for to in order to protect ourselves, what my husband and I did was we split this one recipe in three. So these are distributed to three different companies that don't know of each other's existence. And my franchisees, in order to make their maximum, we have to mix all these three ingredients from three different companies together. If you don't, you don't get maximum. Galing, galing. Um, yeah, parang I heard about a similar strategy employed by Coke ata, na iba-iba din na, na what do you call it, best suppliers, etc., that, that mixes uh, their ingredients. Para at least, di ba, kung mag, ma, lumabas man yung yung recipe isang portion lang isang portion. <laughs> hindi hindi yung iba that's very nice so um ang ganda nung ano nung concept na yon si Hazel sa na hello Mickey proud of you yes yeah, she's, she's, Hazel. that that's one of my many kasamas nung nagbabazar pa ako before in Davao during the weekend market yung massive na sinabi ko Mm-hmm. She's also one of my Because of the bazaars, she has two restaurants already. Now. Wow. Hi, Hazel. Yeah. <laughs> um, ano yung ano, uh, since you've gone through ayun, uh, big diba, uh, achievements for Maxi Mango, ano yung advice, if there's one thing that, that you've learned along the way that really helped Maxi Mango, ano yung? Don't wait for things to be perfect. Sometimes, or actually most of the time, you just have to jump and just do it. Because mm-hmm. if, if my husband and I waited for perfect circumstances to come mm-hmm. home to start mm-hmm. a business, then we would have probably never come home. Mm-hmm. If we waited for perfect circumstances to come to Manila mm-hmm. and feature Maxi Mango, siguro wala kami ngayon. Mm-hmm. Because a, a different concept would have been recognized as the yeah. first in the industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very true. Especially dun sa mga... Uh, aspiring entrepreneurs then, diba? Na yun, waiting for the perfect time. And more often than not, walang perfect time. <laughs> yeah. Diba? You just do it. So, for those na yan, mga OFWs, etc., just make sure, diba, that you do your homework, etc. And when you're, ano na, kumbaga, feel ready, uh, I guess, yun, make that jump. Don't wait for things to become perfect. Mm-hmm. Kasi, yun, uh, chances are... Perfect is not perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's not going yeah. to happen. Yeah. So, um, also for ano for advice din siguro for ano for aspiring entrepreneurs, especially yung mga OFWs. Marami kami na na who are watching mga OFWs. How did you ano? How did you prepare your um you and your husband? Uh, how did you prepare your your family, your finances when it come uh? To, to transition, to, to go home to the Philippines and you know, start the business. What are the preparations that you did? You know, speaking as a former OFW, mm-hmm. OFWs that want to come into, go into business are you know, very personal to us mm-hmm. Because as much as possible, we wish for mm-hmm. any OFW that wants mm-hmm. to come home, na sana makaka-uwi talaga sila. Mm-hmm. Because there's no place like home and it's different talaga here. Mm-hmm. But we also want OFWs to know that it is, it's not a straight line. Yeah. It's not yeah. not just because I have capital, I have a business, uuwi ako, and yeah. that's it, solved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's so it's so crooked. My husband and I, at one point, you know, we couldn't, we were, you know, me and him and our son were living on parang one can lang, split mm-hmm. between the three of us, because this was the this was the time when mm-hmm. we crashed. Kami. We had to leave our house because we could no longer afford it. Mm-hmm. We were living behind us, our bakery, which was a side business that we had before. Mm-hmm. We, better mm-hmm. we were living behind it. Mm-hmm. So, the perseverance that you have as an OFW, you can't let go of that just because you are in the Philippines. Just because you're in a familiar and comfortable territory, which is mm-hmm. your home, mm-hmm. you still have to have that strength mm-hmm. and that guard up. So for OFWs, just um, just make sure you have all the information that you need, and go into it with what um, how you were treated as employees abroad, or how I was treated as an employee abroad. How I wanted to be treated is how I treat my staff now. You make sure that you have happy staff. Hindi yung, oh, I'm an OFW, I have capital. Uuwi ako, may pera ako, I'm the boss. Ganun. Yeah, Hindi pwede. Yeah. You have to relate to your staff. Be a leader by example. My husband and I, um, every now and then, 
we go inside the kiosk and kami mm-hmm. nagtatrabaho mm-hmm. with a mask, with a hat, with everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very admirable, no? Sa... Um, yung yung ano talaga yung heart ng ng isang entrepreneur di ba it's not just about making making money di ba but also improving yung life and helping other people um and sa so FWs ang ganda nung sinabi ni Nikki na yun yung capital it's just one portion lang yun di ba kailangan talaga ano ka um uh, yun you you do the preparations and, and then yung attitude okay. nandoon uh, and be ready na it's not going to be a smooth ride. Yes. So in their case yon they have their downs pero yon they they continued ano pursuing the business. And now yon look at them sobrang successful. Na. So yan. Ah uh, si Kemp may tanong din what is your highest dream daw for Maxi Mango? Yeah, pahabol na question ni Kemp. I don't I don't want to jinx it no. <laughs> pero for me lang as long as I'm able to help people, and in this case, it's the people that I am providing employment to, and it's the franchisees. As long as we are able to help people remain and maintain financially stable, um, then we're happy. It doesn't matter if you have five or six or seven digits in the bank. Financial, financially stable is financially stable. Mm, yeah, very nice. Um, I've heard that you're, you're also expanding to uh, outside the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So, uh, watch out sa ano sa mga ating mga nanonood. Yeah. So soon, de ba? Another Filipino brand uh, from Davao, yes. ba? Is expanding globally. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So yan. Um, I think yon. Ma na tayo. Any ano? Um, siguro for those who are who want to ano um, invite everyone to to check out if they haven't yet check out uh, Maxi Mango. I would like to invite everybody who hasn't yet tried Maxi Mango to try Maxi Mango. And you know, I know that there are a lot of people out there that have tried other you know, concepts or soft serve brands, not necessarily mango, but just ice cream in general, that have sort of nilahat nila. And mm-hmm. like, I don't like this. That means I won't like you also. Mm-hmm. Give it a chance. Mm-hmm. You, you, you no, you'll never know. Mm-hmm. Ako sobrang na appreciate ko uh, Miki yung ano yung heart mo and when it comes to helping other people. <laughs> tapos uh, really taking good care of your franchises. So yun sobrang admirable yun kasi yun nga yung yung ibang companies are just here for the money. And yun sinasabi niyo as long as di ba your financial financially stable yun lang yung goal, di ba? Uh, and and you're helping other people that makes you yeah. more ano, kumbaga, uh, fulfilled when it comes uh, as, as an entrepreneur. So yeah, thank you for ano, thank you for for that and thank you for sharing your journey uh, and your experiences as an entrepreneur. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for giving me a chance to share and come here. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, and for those, I know, for those who are interested to franchise, uh, check out the franchise package of Maxi Mango. Just message yeah. sa sa Facebook. Um, we, we put in the the link, okay? Para yon, pwede yung message don. And yon, as you can see, yon si 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 Miki is very very uh, what do you call this? Um, concerned about franchise franchises niya, making sure na yon they are happy. They are happy. So, yun, check out the franchise package of Maxi Mango. Hey, and sa mga book winners natin. So, uh, we said kanina na we'll choose three winners who will win this Lipreneur book, How to Take the Lipre Employee to Entrepreneur. So, yung nanalo daw is si Asela, yun, Divilia. Hi, Asela. Yun, you've won the Lipreneur book. Tapos, uh, si Kim Noromore. And si Mario Bajola. So congratulations, Asela, Kim, and Mario. So just email Haina. That's uh, J A E N A at Lipreneur to know how you can claim your prize. Okay. So yan mga Lipreneurs. This has been another session of Lipreneur Insights, and I hope na marami kayo na tutunan and most importantly na inspire kayo sa uh, journey ni Miss Miki, how they grew their Maxim Mango business to 43 branches in less than a year. Grabe. And how they introduced 
the a new concept na mango soft serve ice cream. So, yan see you again next week for another session of Lipinor Insights and again this is Jerry Ilaw saying that you are not limited by your current status. So, if you want to start your own business, come on, let's make it happen. See you my Lipinors and also watch out for the um, announcement ng ating Lipinor. Okay, so bye everyone. See you next week. Bye.